Who's ready to fly? Yeah! Uh, in their gloves, right where the stick goes. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Which is like just like a little like a, like a hole puncher. You wanna fly this? Yeah, you're on. Put some music on. <laughs> Awesome. I did a little early. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. We were nice. talking about trying to... How would we go about scratch building one that size? Ooh. You got to start smaller. <laughs> um, this size, it needs to be uh, really stiff. As you get bigger, it's going to be harder to make it stiff. Like I've had flat foamies this size, and they're okay. But I would start with a 40 inch or 39 inch. And they still fly really good. But uh, I had a 55 inch and it was so, so light that it would actually, um, it would, like the wind would break it. So it would, uh, oh, my finger's too cold. Is that, um, obviously that has spars in it? Yeah, so it has carbon spars that go through this way and then through the sides. And then it actually has them in the elevator too, so right over there. Yeah. But um, you can build a 48 inch one if you, wanted to do that I would look at DW foamies and see their designs they do flat foamies okay um, they don't fly as well as this because they don't have an airfoil yeah. and they're usually all white but I used to fly those a lot okay. and uh, they fly really good they fly light but they're they're more floaty like this is pretty floaty but those are even more floaty okay but uh, yeah the 40 inch with a 3 cell 1000 um, and like a 60 gram motor is good, like 39 or 40 inch. And then this is like 48 inch with a hundred gram, 70 to hundred gram motor and flying on three cell 2200. Okay. That's a really popular size, but you can make it with flat. Um, yeah, they're really fun. I was gonna say, cause it'd be, it'd be a really quick build. Yeah. If we can get something in CAD. Yeah. Oh, cool. it's Chopper. Yeah, that would be the only problem is trying to chop them out on a 24 inch bed. Yeah, there's so you start really small. Yeah. Go with a 24 inch wingspan. Have you flown something that small? Usually yeah. under 39 inch, I think they get affected by wind a lot. But what about so making the two wings? Inside. Like this one, you know, it's not one piece that's 48. Mm -hmm. Like the two wings, like this wing it's only that part. Oh yeah, that's true. You know, and then you have yeah. this part. Um, That'd be the hardest there's part. There's two the parts fuse. right there. There's yeah. One, two. You can easily make a 40 inch. Three. And this is EPP or Yeah, what? that's EPP. Yeah, but you can easily make a 40 inch because the wings, usually it's not one piece. Right. The fuse, they attach to the fuse with the carbon spar. Or you can, a lot of them will use a I don't know if it's spruce or some type of a wood. Yeah. You don't have to use carbon. Carbon's really expensive. Hmm. That's interesting. Because that body's pretty thin. Or this piece is yeah. two, two sheets. Two sheets put together. Well, that's actually, they have just one sheet and it's, um, they have a little slit that's cut Did in Did you there. do that? Or is that uh, some, is that oh, the part of it? Oh, they came with it, yeah. That helps reinforce it. The right. little, it's like a triangle. Yeah. Before, they used to have these little, um, carbon rods that go like this and yeah. they just but this is a much simple and it hides your wires yeah Looks like, yeah, yeah. and the, the 40 inch ones you can belly land them no problem because hmm. um, they don't weigh much they weigh about 
14 ounces. Yeah. And this one, I don't know how much it weighs. Um, in the high 20s. Actually, 26 to 30 ounces. Dude, we should design that. That would be fun.